Hello everyone, my name is Raging Raptor and I welcome to a new World of Tanks video and in today's video I want to kind of come after a request one of you guys gave me, which is, it is one you can call me Joy, which was super duper generous to um, donate $10 during one of my live streams to ask, hey, why not do something about one of the probably most forgotten tier 10 clan wars reward tanks and it's a t95e6 which you can already see doing its little journey in the background and forgotten tier 10 reward is pretty much on point if you imagine that for example the 907 is getting used very frequently the vkk is known to be the better of the two the M60 being the OG one, which a lot of people love and could get in the bond shop. <laughs> Chieftain, we already know how everybody loves the Chieftain. And the 1 to 1B, which you can also get in the bond shop. And now we just have the T95E6 left, which is basically not doing anything really in Clan Wars Reward types of style. It's, it's kind of awkward. It really doesn't do a lot. The big major thing about this tank is it's insane dpm and that is why i want today to just try it out and see what we can do with this tank and see if we can actually have a good game or not well then i guess it's just time to how board gaming would say let's battle again all those replays or reviews, uh, excuse me, all those games we're going to do right now are live commentary, live gameplay, and well, let's see how it really goes. Maybe we have a good, we have a good time. Maybe it is not going to be good. Who knows? We'll see. And yeah, obviously, I'm still hoping that my recording in the background is still very decent. I hope it is. I'm not entirely sure. One thing I do have to might change up again is, yep, yeah, this is okay. You might say, but Raging, you have a really good graphic card. You have a really good processes. Why do you have triple buffering? Because otherwise uh, my recording will be insanely laggy for no reason whatsoever. But yeah, now we have Karelia. This will be an interesting matchup. I, I don't know if I should try to go on the hill or not. I kind of want to try to go on the hill, but there are two artillery pieces around and maybe we got we can get screwed over by M48 Patton. The other issue is I have the 430U behind me. Let's hope I am the fastest one of the bunch and they will not be ready for me just yet and I will not eat. Like it's a very, very risky move to try and go up on the hill. So we'll see how it goes. We're most likely going to see an enemy. Just a leopard one, which isn't too big of an issue. Great to see them, not the only one going up here. Perfect. I kind of want to stay down here and see if I can get some shots in. Maybe we can get a shot on his... Um, no, we can't. The biggest issue with the T95E6 is and will always be its rather big cupola. The turret itself is not bad, but the cupola is. Just going push around. Okay, he's pushing up himself, doesn't notice me yet, just getting... Now he is dead anyway, like he can't do much. We might even get the kill because we have a really great reload time, as you can see. And this is not even with fully equipped um, bonds equipment or anything like that, or bounty equipment. It's just 6.3 seconds, which is an insanely fast reload time. Where is he going? Might be a little bit risky to try and get a shot in. Bye bye, wheelie boy. Nobody likes liked you anyway. So let's just quickly reverse and hope we are not getting shot at by the Conqueror back there. It's a little bit of a pity that we don't have any spots over here, but I think the EBR, well, he can't really do that anymore as he is lacking HP. Now, imagine if you had a tank with not such a huge cupola. We could have played around down here, sure, artillery exists, artillery is being a nuisance and stuff. Ah, uh, no, that is bad. That is very, very bad that he got this. Now we are blind on one side. That is very, very bad. Another thing is, I can't really work this way right there. Hmm. Like the big issue is, I really want to contest the M48 pattern. But I can't, because I guess I'm getting shot up from there. Maybe I can try to use double bushes or even spot this guy right there. Yeah, yeah, we got sh a spot up for that, that's not good. Let's see if I have good aim. 
I did do a critical question is if it was um, anything important like his tracks because that was where I was aiming at. It looks like he's a little bit... Um, he just donates. It was a little bit weird by me, but that's good to see that he already got um, a decent free damage farm on the T-54, but he... I don't know what he was doing, honestly. I do not know. Um, now I have to watch out because they still have a Forge B in the back, they still have a Conqueror which may or may not be camping. I kind of want to see if I can... I don't know how to approach this to be honest, to um, eat the least amount of damage. Now maybe can use this one right here and hope that the standard B maybe come closer when we are doing like something like this. It looks like this part will not fall just yet. HP is still fine-ish. Oh yeah, there he is. Well, like, yes, I can see I'm trying to hold this stone as much as possible in between me. Yeah, there are already shots flying. Okay, him being there is not too bad. Let me just quickly get unspotted and then I can try to get from here. Okay, our people are going up here, meaning that we mo may or may not be starting to push in. Artillery, artillery obviously hates us, that's why they are shooting at us. Oh wow, okay, I actually didn't know that there was a, st a stone in between. Huh. You never... You always keep learning. You always really do keep learning. Now is the question, what should we do? Because you can see we had to st um, start to pull back. Oh, perfect. That was a very good kill. That was very important. That he killed this guy. Now we can maybe try to start going down and uh, maybe get some um, flanking in. Go uh, go away, wheelie boy. We don't need you anymore. I kind of want to see if I can get over there. It might be a little bit risky. Oh, yes. Didn't spot him myself, but that's good to know he's over there. We can't really shoot at him because the stones are in the way. Um, um, oh no, he spotted me right. Or did he? Might even not even got spotted. Ah, nay, come on. I tried to do one more blind shot. Maybe we can get him. Maybe he around here. Yeah. Now we got spotted, for sure, yeah, that was to uh, be expected. It's not too bad, I'm just st uh, waiting for uh, me to get invisible again, uh, exactly, that's what I wanted to... Yikes. You know what? Yeah, hello Artie. Oh, that's good. We're going to move a little bit forward because you can see that everybody's basically here and everybody, except for artillery, everything was spotted already, so I'm just going to finish off this... Oh, never mind. I'm bad for aim trying to aim at weak spots, um, aren't I? That's why I'm looting uh, the premium rounds and do what a uh, uni scum is doing always. Oh, actually, it's a Fosh B. Fuck that shit. Oh wow, you failed. Thank buddy. Now I just hope to not get penetrated by an artillery piece because our armor can be rather weakish at times. Oh, that's pretty decent to see. And got a minor damage. I'm not going to remove the stun because there's still two people left, obviously two artillery pieces and they may or may not be doing havoc on my tank. Hmm. I'm still very, very careful because they still have a uh, Standard B, you know. Hi, buddy. Now we can actually reload normal rounds. Pretty good game. Pretty good game so far. Pretty good game. I'll take it. M you might still get penetrated by artillery, but who knows? <sighs> this is actually can't try to... Um, because of the standard B, I'm going to lose a lot of HP if I just try to go over. Uh. 
Ah, whatever. Oh. Not really whatever, because we literally just... It's a pretty decent chunk of people right there. But then again, we have a full HP 50 TP back there. You know what, I might actually have to leave, let him die, because uh, right now I have to kill artillery, they're, they're a nuisance, they're, uh, uh, look, look what I have to do right now, um, I was just thinking uh, constantly what I should be doing at this point in the game. First things first, artillery is just going to kill us, it doesn't matter, sooner or later they will kill us. Second, I can't really push in there, because I, um, my armor is not that good, we got lucky that we got at least one bounce, but our armor is pretty garbage. So we'd rather just get this artillery piece with HEs. Boosting our damage and even getting six kills. Damn. I am genuinely surprised that we have such a good game so far. Let's get the other. Get the second best medal in the game. Might spot it us. Or no, he didn't. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, then now that I know that I'm here. Mm. Screw you, buddy. Screw you. I really wanted to get that kill, to be honest. I always like to kill artillery. Ah, especially it was the guy which del dealt the most amount of damage to me. Yeah, I don't care right now. I want to push my damage stats into the insanity. This is why we are loading the heat rounds, and the heat rounds are insane on this tank. Ah, man! That, that, that would have been a kill if you wouldn't have stolen the artillery. Kurva. Why you no miss your IS-7? You inaccurate. But honestly, this game was weird. We had an E3, which is basically AFK, or at least it felt like he was AFK. And <coughs> yeah, the 50 DP were just camping in a base. Nevertheless, um, sadly, we weren't the team player because we didn't have any spot damage whatsoever, but 5,200 damage. I take it. I am very happy with the performance. Very well. Sa but again, a little bit of a pity that we didn't got the artillery because then we would have gotten 8 kills, plus the Pascucci medal, plus the Top Gun medal, but then again, shit happens. I am very happy with this performance, honestly. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we were top in damage as well. I really didn't understand what this guy was doing. I think he was just camping in the back and was sniping and then in the end just came in. But this guy was AFK, for example. I don't know what happened. I've, it looks like he got penetrated by an artillery or something and then he was just like, fuck this shit, I don't want to play this game anymore. Um, which would be understandable because sometimes such players really... Um, I can talk from experience. Uh, but I take it. Again, I really do take it. The, the greatest thing about the T95 E6 is and will always be its insane DPM. Again, you can see with without improved equipment, we have almost 3.8k. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is one of the highest medium tank DPMs in the game. See, even this one. Okay, I am using optics right here. If we would be using Wentz, the 907 would have better DPM. Um, this one doesn't have anything because right now I'm using the other things in another tank. I think the AMX 30B might be the other tank which is getting fairly close-ish to the great DPM. But then again, we're also not using Wentz right here and not using rations. But yeah, the TNI 5E6 has an insane DPM. Like again, it is very, very, very strong. But um, every, like it kind of feels to me a little bit like the old, uh, what's it called? The old Conway. Oh, look, uh, a very cool map and um, three artillery pieces. Oh, boy, I really not look. Uh, I do not look forward to that. And they have an EBR. Uh, we do as well. Okay. The question is how, like, at this point or in this game, I can't really do much. We have the bad side. We have a tank with a huge cupola. I um, will be hard. I have to wing it. I honestly don't really know what to do on this map, to be honest. Just have to wing it. Let's hope that we have a good spot uh, during the cross of the enemies and we'll see what we can do. 
That might be the best thing we can do at the beginning of the game and then see like save, save HP for late game. And yeah, because in the end we have to be issued that they have two super cock, super cocks which are down here. You know, they can shoot up here with uh, basically being impenetrable or almost being impenetrable. Yeah, yeah. I had to try to do the snap, otherwise I would have wouldn't have hit anyway. Oh man, might have to watch out because DPR is doing a run. Damn, oh, every shot is going high. Literally every shot is going high. Don't, um, don't think I can spot those people when they're crossing. My, ca my spot few range is too little because I'm using vents. Yeah, as you can see. Oh my, wh what the fuck are they doing? Oh, they want to punish the 907. Okay, the 907 is dead anyway. It's getting you all by t um, DVPs. Like again, this is why I never really want to do anything super aggressive on this map because you are just in the middle of the open field when you go there. Yeah. I missed my chance, I had a pretty shit spawn and I don't really understand why the leopard was over there. He could have gotten some shots in here because he had a better spawn and a better time. And now I guess it's time for me to dab the two key and see what we can do against the super cooldown super conquerors to be honest. I don't know, man. I really don't know. This map is just... I really dislike this map because it's literally just, you know... Herder, let's be all hold down. Herder. Ah, oh, damn it. That is bad. They already pushed in. Might have an idea what I can do. Can try to put on a flank from over here, get some shots in. I'm not sure because I hardly see anybody playing like this. And this is again what I why I dislike this map so much. We have we have tanks which are bad for this map, and we literally lose. We have no chance to actually try and recover. It looks like because you can't push the field. The field is dead zone. It's a dead man's land. It's when you're playing Death Stranding. It's it's literally the BT zone. You can't do jack shit there. And then now they get. Um, that was such a bad shot by me. I might have to just try and uh, do some trading shots with him. Try to kill him. Nice. Oh boy! Uh, we did one kill and now everybody else is dead already. Because Super Kongs. God damn it, man. We had one great game and suddenly we have a shit game by the shit map. Oh, what else are we supposed to do, man? He didn't do anything, man! What the fuck? Laurel. That's unfortunate. God damn it, what a shit game. Hey, yeah, look at me, I'm a re, re in a stupid s cock. I actually don't even have the kind of pressure to actually do anything against him. Yeah, give me all high rolls! You are the man! You are the guys which got lucky having a good map. Yeah, again, that's literally Paris. I, I, I absolutely despise this map with every single fiber of my soul when I'm not playing a heavy tank. Because they didn't even play it pro well. Most likely. It just pushed in and that's it. And because of their superior DPM and having a turret which is basically impenetrable if you're not knowing where to shoot. Yeah. And... But, well, at least one shot was a real low roll. No. Yeah, at least it was. Whatever. I, at, th a point, at this point in time, I just got really annoyed. I don't know what to do. We, we, we lost anyway. We lost everything. We, we, we had people... Excuse me. We had people pushing in here which immediately died. We lost the field. You can't push the field because... Yeah. And at the point where your team having no super conquerors on a map which is basically we are dumb at wargaming we just want to have one corridor or two um it's a loss sorry for being a little bit salty about this but i i really dislike paris i should really block this map it's a map 
which simply doesn't have any fun elements to me. We still did a really pretty decent damage in match and we still did top two damage. Even and we with the other guy we were yeah. Again, this this is the point which I mean. Look, they, they too have tanks which are brain dead for this map where they literally just have to play hold down and press the W key, um, the press, press the two key. And they basically can do whatever they want. Our guys, they are 277s. They don't even know how to counter this. They don't know where to pin. And um, that's how you already lost the other flank. Sure, we, two, uh, we had two guys which did zero damage as well additionally, which is obviously super annoying and frustrating. But then again, this is Paris. Half hold down heavy tanks win. That's literally how it is, because a T-57 Heavy is not a full down heavy tank. <laughs> I am not a T-57 down heavy tank. The only thing I'm asking myself, if I could have gone to the heavy line and tried to do something, but against the gun handling of the s -cock, no chance. Literally no chance. But yeah, this is the T-95E6 uh, with a little bit salt sprinkled in. Still, I'm very happy with the performance. It had 4k damage um, almost on average in those two games, which is very cool. And yeah, I hope um, you can call me Joy doesn't hate me for being salty at the second game. It, I am really salty because, like, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do against Hooldown memes? <laughs> On a stupid map which literally has one corridor and another field which is Dead Man's Land. <laughs> but yeah, that's War, War Gaming's uh, map design from 2018, which just favors tank. Back in the days, like Type 5 Heavy, Object 268 version 4, and the current day is the Object um, the object 279, uh, the Super Conqueror, and the Chieftain. And they even had the best side for that. Whatever. This is how it is. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the live gameplays. And as always, see you on the battlefield.